Well, how do there, Chums? Tis I, Captain of the Steves, and today, Chums, for you guys in the viewerverse, well, more so for me, I'm going to be exploring lots of lush worlds and seeing if... if I can find a planet that looks a little bit like the one from Light No Fire's trailer for our Light No Sky event. So, yeah, I want to hit up a lush world if I possibly can. Now, there's no lushes inside the system I'm in, so... There is a little thing I can do here to guarantee me getting a lush. At the moment, look, there's only this ice topic planet and there's also a mutated planet inside of the system. So if I go to catalog right now, go into to materials and then it should be on raw materials. I should be able to find star bar bramble. Seriously? OK, that's a little bit. That's a little bit shite. I mean, this is my PC save, so, yeah, I, I guess I haven't actually found Star Bramble yet. <laughs> OK, right. Well, that's that's um, not going to work then. All right, fine. So head on out to the galactic map and let's do a jump, shall we? Let's just see what we can find outside of here in the stars. We don't really want to go to data unavailable. Uh, that dude's got water. Yeah, why not? We'll go there. Zoom and we're off. Okay, I've arrived located in the first system that I've jumped to. Let's go and hit on up this. And let's um, see if we find a Lush in this system, shall we? We got it. Oh, there is a Star Bramble one there. It hasn't got no water on it, but we can still take a look at it by all means. Unstable planet. Pyrite and salt. Okay, that's going to be a lava world. Or oh, what's this little guy over here? Breach planet. Okay, we'll go and have a look at this orange Lush. I think it has got water, actually. Not much, not much. All right, well, we're going to have a look at that then, people. OK, I'm not going to get tired of this for a while. I mean, the clouds do look phenomenally awesome now. I would like to play this in VR again, has to be said. Hopefully it's got this level of fidelity in VR. Holy fudge. OK. Let's land in the uh, shadow of this rock, shall we? Must say, shadows have greatly improved. Cool. Now, something that people are saying is almost every lush planet they land on has got these trees. You see all these trees that we're seeing right here on this planet right now? Apparently, virtually every lush planet that people are landing on, it has these trees. They're not finding their old style of tree, and people are saying that it's it's really sort of upset the rendering of planets. These trees all bend in the wind and stuff, and I'm wondering whether Hello Games haven't added in many, you know, assets that have the bend. So, yeah, I I'm wondering whether they've done it for design reasons. But anyway, I, as much as I like this planet, I'm not seeing any of the new floating islands. That's what I'm hoping to find. I'm hoping to find one with floating islands. So I guess back to it then, people. The search continues. Well, I found myself an interesting system. It's got three. Three lush planets in. It's got this one. that has got salvageable scrap. It's got this one, which is looks pretty darn Earth-like. And it's got this one which looks like it might have blue grass. So we're going to go and visit each of these. Now, interesting enough, this one hasn't got activated, so I don't think this one's going to have as many storms, where this one's got magnetised ferrite, and it's also got activated copper. This one's going to be super stormy. This one's going to be mildly stormy, and this one is going to be pretty much paradise. But with all these new effects, all the wind effects and stuff, maybe one of the others will be quite good anyway. So I'm going to look at all three. Let's go and take a look at them. So I'm heading to the one that's got the biggest amount of storms first. I want to try and save the best till last. I've got a feeling that paradise world with the blue grass might be the best one. But we shall see. Because I'm looking for floating islands. Any of these three could have that. OK, as we break through the cloud barrier, the moment of truth will be upon us. Now, I don't want super hilly or super mountainous. Oh, my days. OK, we've just got loads of water. OK. Not really what I was expecting. Very wavy Davy. I haven't seen the waves that crazy yet. That's cool to see. Let's have a look for a trading post in here, shall we? Locate trading post. Let's see where it puts that. Okay, that should take us inland. Uh, do we do that again? 
Okay, going through the clouds. Let's have a look what we got. When it comes to... Oh, okay. It looks like a shroom-type planet. Very shroomy. Okay, well, let's just... Uh, let's go touch down over here. Let's have a better look at it. Now, with this storm, I can't see Toffee. So, with the new particle effects, it's... Uh, probably not the best planet for our light no sky type event i think this is way too stormy i mean it's hard to even tell what planet the what color the planet is or what the terrain is like i, I might wait for this storm to dissipate but we could be here for some time i don't think it's got any floating islands but what it has got by the looks of things is mahusive caves mahusive it's Okay, and you can see here the extreme storm is eating my hazard protection. Any new players appearing in survival mode aren't going to survive long, are they? I think we're going to have to rule this one out just because it has got the extreme storms. But you know what? This is actually quite a nice colour now. The storm's starting to clear and look at that cave. That is quite a lovely planet. Yeah, I quite like that. But like I say, the extreme storms are putting me off massively. All right, well, let's go and have a look at the other two. OK, chums, there wasn't much cloud coverage on this one. I love all these sort of black sort of scars in the planet's surface on this one. It's another fungally type, mushroomy type looking one. Yeah, the storms seem a little bit, doesn't seem as stormy from first look. Pretty darn nice. We've got the blue oceans. Does look pretty darn nice, this planet, doesn't it? But again, there's no floating islands. I don't really think there's much need to put boots on the ground. I mean, yes, it might have flying beetles. But you know what? We can get around the flying mounts issue. We can bring flying creatures to the planet. So it's not much love lost there. So you know what? Let's go and have a look at the final choice. Let's go see if the blue planet with the rings is any nicer. Okay, we're just going through the upper echelons of the atmosphere. We've got light cloud cover. This is looking quite cool. Is this is shrooms again. It's also got the scarred earth. Or has it actually got trees on this one? It's got a lot of bush. Ah, it's got a different type of tree, which is quite cool. None of the floating islands, though. I really want to find one with floating islands for our light no sky event. As nice as this one is, it doesn't quite fit that remit, does it? The search continues! Okay, chums, I'm heading towards a contender now on another galaxy, and uh, this looks pretty darn nice. Paradise planet, it's a small planet at that, it's not large. This one could be a serious contender. I mean, there you go, look, tiny, teeny tiny. Awesome, which means that all the sorts of um, points of interest all the buildings are going to be closer together something i need to improve on on this ship is the uh, pulse engines I, i'm running out of fuel all the freaking time it's insane i have to shoot asteroids okay chums has this got floating islands no it's got those trees all over it again these same trees that people are reporting that they're seeing a heck of a lot of it's got vast canyons but then it's also got swathes of landscape I mean, look at that. Is that water at the bottom of this? Holy fudge, Anori. The terrain on this planet is insane. You've got some hillocks, but then you've got swathes of pasture that's quite flat. Okay, I don't think I've come across a planet with terrain as varied as this before. We have massive great big craters that take you down to the lower echelons of the bowels of the planet to then having these peaked like hillocks everywhere well that's an interesting one for sure very cool but we still haven't got the floating islands and i would like to see the floating islands heck yeah okay well seen something pretty darn snaz though that was snazzy oh Okay, chums. Well, we've come across something slightly more interesting. This has got these flying weird plants in the sky. It's going to give me carbon if I destroy it. Whoa, holy nelly. Nearly blew up myself then. This is quite a cool planet. 
It's not quite floating, floating island cool, is it? But it's still fairly cool. Still worth getting out now to the quick butchers with the eye peepers. Oh, I like it actually. This is really cool. It's got reddish skies, beautiful clouds, lovely volumetrics, awesome water, these floating weird plant things. I like the flowers that glow. We've got some jumpy flowery plant creatures. Well, I better not scan them just in case that's, you know, ricey and um, cynical quite like the look of this one. And look, it's got all these like plants here. I wonder if it's got any more of those weird plant creatures that we saw inside of trailer. It's got a little bouncy guy there. Let's have a little butchers around because if it's got some pretty cool land based creatures, you know, this could be a contender. It is a nice planet. I do like it. It's very nice. Okay. Well, as far as planets go, I quite like this one so far, people. Yeah, not bad. Not bad at all. But it's not the floating island, and I think we could do better. Going from the trailer, I think we could do better. I think I'm going to hold out for better, but this, this, is, this is the nicest one I've seen this episode so far. Okay, chums, I like the coloration of this one. It's got like turquoisey grass. It's marked as being a grassy planet. Strongest reality distortion. Okay, well, let's hope it's got the floating islands then. No, it hasn't. And uh, it looks quite barren apart from the shrooms. Oh, that's a disappointment. You know what? I might just land here anyway. Because I can see the star bramble here, and I can pick the star bramble to add it to my catalogue. Might as well do that while I'm here. Oh, it's a bubble lush. Okay, cool. All right, well let's um, let's grab some of this. There we go. That's added it to my catalogue. Pretty darn gnarly. You know what? I might move myself down a little bit. Let's get the whole lot, and let's just move me down a bit. Oh, where's it gone? Camp set. Camp the whole thing, please. There we are. And move me down a bit. I think I'm a little bit high, so hopefully you'll be able to see things when they pop up there now. Wow, this is very bubbly. Bubbly, bubbly, bubbly. Bubbly, bubbly. What's that blue hue over yonder hill? That's um, a bit weird. Oh, it's blue clouds. We've actually got blue clouds. Holy fudge. Okay, well, these bubbles are freaking crazy, aren't they? Got some flying fauna on here, but none that we can tame and ride. That I know of. Things that are moving fast over there. It's pretty cool as far as planets go. But it's it's not a contender. No, nope, not a contender. The bubbles are mental. Okay, so I'm in a system now that has no lush planets. So now, now that I've picked myself some lovely, lovely stuff, I can jump on over here and I can select a cake. Oh. Where are you? Dang thing. Okay, is it on page two? No. Oh, yeah, I'm looking for star bramble. Oh, plants. That might help, mine. There we go. Now I can select star bramble. And that should put it on the old galactic maps. Let's leg on over here. Let's have a look. See? Oh, look, there's one right next door. Let's go there then. Okay, chums. Well, there's actually a vile brood detected in this system as well, so I might go and kill another giant creature. And, uh, yeah, there, there we go. There's a star bramble one. It doesn't look all too interesting. Looks like it might have brown or maybe even black grass. Uh, chums, it looks very interesting from space. It looks like it might have white grass and, like, a light greeny sort of sea. I don't think I've come across this mix before. Well, this is different. It's got no trees on it, just loads of rocks and very flat vistas all around. Now, I don't think I could play on that for very long without getting bored. You know, it's um, as nice as a colour mix it is, but no. It just hasn't got a lot going for it other than the white grass, has it really? Pretty cool though, nonetheless. All right, well, I'm gonna go and, I think I've had my fair fill of looking for lush planets this episode so I think I'm gonna end off fighting a vile brood and see if we get another helmet well this planet's interesting this planet has got dissonance detected 
and also a vile brood. It's got a little bit of everything on here. Now, this is a dusty ancient bones planet as well. It's got ancient bones here. I'm half tempted to just stick a base on this one just for resource gathering. I mean, why not? Well, chums, this planet has actually got these beetly guys on. They seem to be friendly. Look at them. And they're freaking lovely. It's pretty cool. We need more creature taming slots. Yeah, we really do. Right. Ow! What the frick just bit me there? Oh, it's Hazard's plant. All right, well, I didn't manage to find a grub on this planet, but I have a grub in my pocket. So I'm going to hatch the grub here because I'm not finding them. Then they're, they're quite rare, I think, aren't they? Here we go. Vile brood detected. Take that, vile brood. There we go. I'm just hitting it with the mi mining beam at the moment, but it's not doing a great deal of damage, is it? Let's go for scatter blaster on it. Take that, creature of evil. Go, oh dear. I should have recharged my shields or something, shouldn't I, before I took on this battle. Take that, you! Oh no, don't say I've gone and triggered... Oh, I've triggered corrupt sentinels as well now. I'm going to lose this war. The sentinels are going to get me as well, aren't they? Come on. We're going to have to get this guy done quicker. Because those sentinels are going to be on me in a bit. Oh man. Come on. Come on, fire faster! I need to get some S-Class modules into my scatter blaster. Take that! Why is it not taking any more damage? One more go. There we go, we got him. Right, the swarm is subsiding, and I got myself this, the Hunter's Jaws. Brilliant, okay. Right, so I did a whole video on how you can find these sort of planets. And how you can get your first one of these sort of heads relatively quickly. Uh, yeah, that video should be live now. So if you want to go check that out, I'll put a link just above my head right here. Go hit that one up. But I think that's probably all I want to do today's episode. I think I'm about good to quit on out. So yeah, just doubly make sure I've definitely saved. And I still don't know whether I'm going to put a base on here or not, people. But there we are. Jump out out of there. Oh. Right, so people inside of the viewerverse, hopefully you've picked up something on there that the you know the the lush planets with the floating islands are rarer than I thought they were going to be. I thought I'd jump to maybe ten and maybe find at least two. Not the case. Um, I did find one of those lovely floral flying type planets, but I still haven't come across the stem creatures like the trifid creatures and the dog type weirdness. So there's still stuff out there for me to discover. Yeah thoroughly enjoying this new update and I need to land on all the different biomes and gather resources because at the moment my catalogue is pretty bare so I need to do a lot more exploration on planet surfaces I'm thinking about doing the random portal dice adventure but I still want to try and find a lush planet for this no man's sky well, the light no sky challenge that we're doing but then again there's quite a lot of people out there right now that I could doff my cap to and say have you found one with floating islands inside of the actual event anyway. Anyway, goodbye people. See you next time. Goodbye, goodbye, and goodbye again.